It's Samantha from Scrapmaster's Paradise, and today I'm going to show you our Z Heart Z stamp set by SBN Company. So what I did was I just cut out, using the SVG cut file, cut out a bunch of different shapes from the RC Heart Z um, stamp set. And depending on how long this video runs, I will be adding a project tutorial at the end of this video or on a part two video. So. I'll let you know at the end. We'll see how long this goes. So I've just got all these different shapes. I have the shapes for the sentiments and then the heart shapes. I'm just spreading some of them out so I can grab and go. So I put my stamps in these DVD cases by Stampin' Up. And I've already got two of the hearts out. Let's flip it over so you guys can see. Um, it comes with all these different interchangeable hearts. A black border and then a little scallop heart border. And then it's got cute little sentiments. So I'm just going to play with this and you guys can see all my different ways of doing things. Okay, so first I want to start with one of these scallop hearts. I've got the scallop heart. I've already got my scallop heart stamp on an acrylic block. And then I've got this cute little almost chevron stripe patterned heart. And when I'm layering the hearts, what I like to do, I'm getting my ink spread out, is I want my color in the middle for the patterned heart to be a lighter color, and then the outside part to be a darker color, and then I don't have to worry about lining up my stamp. I've got certainly celery. I'm going to use this for the inside. Just kind of ink it up. center it here as best I can with the camera in my way. Okay, so there we've got that and I've got a stamp cleaner right beside my little work area. I cleaned off that stamp. And I love pink with green, so I'm going to use Melon Mambo ink to do the border. Now I don't have to line it up perfectly, I can just kind of eyeball it since my green will be covered up if I go a little off the edges here. Let's see, that looks pretty good. Okay, so you can see, I'll zoom in a little bit. You can't really tell I went around and off the edges a little bit. I'm just going to clean my little stamp off. I need some more stamp cleaner. Try that again. Okay, much better. I have my little heart there. Of course, lining it up will be a lot easier um, if you're leaning over it and you don't have the camera in your way. So then I've got all these little sentiments. Um, the thing with these is you have to, um, if you're getting the die cuts, you have to figure out the sentiments. Let's see. I'll grab one and I'll show you how I figure out which little layer goes with the stamp. Okay, so I, I just cut out a bunch and I've got this one that says love ya. So I've got to figure out like this small one and it lines up when I'm just holding it up against the stamp. So that's how you know which one lines up with which. So I could obviously tell this one's not going to line up, it's really long. There's a couple of these shorter ones, and you just have to look until you find the right one. So I found this one. I'm going to stamp it in my dark color, which is the Mella Mambo. Just line it up and stamp. And it's just perfect. You don't have to worry about fussy cutting or anything. So I want to show you a couple of my other favorite color combos. I've got Owen. Okay, so this one's certainly Celery and Melon Mambo. I'll set it aside. And let's get another scallop one. Okay. And so for this one, if it's going to be more for a, a boy, you want a boyish themed card, I've got some Bashful Blue. I'm going to switch out my patterned heart. I'm going to use this Houndstooth pattern. 
I've got bashful blue. tricky to close. So I've got chocolate chip for the border this time. So you don't want to make all your cards for men to be all pink and frilly. Sometimes you need some masculine colors. Oh, there's a blue with a chocolate chip. And so what I did the last time, I've got my pink and my certainly celery, and then I used the same pink for the sentiment, because it's the darker color, so the sentiment shows up really nice, and it also coordinates. So I've got this one, and I'll use the same chocolate chip ink and stamp a different sentiment. Let me zoom out again. So we stamped the Lovia sentiment already. Let's do the one that says, Be Mine. Okay, so this one's one of the shorter ones, so I think it's going to be this one. Sometimes you can just eyeball it and tell because of the length of it. I'll stamp this one. It says, Be Mine. That one's a cute one for a, a boy. Let me clean off my stamp. Okay. Let's do another one. There's all these different pattern hearts to go in with the scallop heart. Now I've got pretty in pink. Grab another scallop. See, that one's the back. You can tell because I, I ripped the back a little bit when I was peeling it off my cutting mat. See, we might end up throwing that one away, but we can stamp on it just for um, the video at least. So this one is a really nice little texture. It looks almost like canvas, maybe. I'll stamp it in the middle. And that's pretty in pink ink. Cleaned my stamp. And then for the scallop, I want to use red. I've got cherry cobbler ink. My favorite color combo for, actually I have two favorite color combos for Valentine's Day. Pink, red, and white, of course, is really traditional. And then I also like, let me line this up. And my other favorite is pink, teal, or aqua, and white. I think that looks really good, and the, the teal and aqua is unexpected. Okay, so there's the pink, red, and white. So I'm going to use this red again for my sentiment. We'll use a longer one. This one. This sentiment says hugs and kisses. So this one's a longer one. We've got to find ourselves the little piece that goes with it. I don't think that one fits. Because when you look at it, it says H-U-G-S. So the G kind of hangs lower. So I think we're looking for this one that has that little loop at the bottom. Line it up, I think we're right. And again, going with the same theme, matching the scallop to the sentiment. There you go. It's got the little teeny hangy off part. I'm going to get rid of it just by pulling it off, hopefully. I don't want to smudge my ink. Okay. There's that one. And I'll show you the rest of the patterns. There's actually a few more of the different pattern parts. So let me grab a different color. This one's Marina Mist. And I'll just stamp the rest of the hearts and show you guys all the different ones. Let me see if you guys can see these. If I put them here, okay, so those are the three we did. This heart just has this little teeny tiny scallop shape. 
pattern repeating. That one's really cute. Let me wash off my stamp. There's also this wavy one. center. Since this is symmetrical, you can just flip it over and do it again. I messed that one up pretty bad. Okay, much better. There's the little scallopy, wavy looking one. And then the last one is polka dots. That's one of my favorite ones, is the polka dot one. Okay, so for these ones, you can either leave them just like that, or you can stamp them with this border. And I'm going to use a different color here. Mm, let's see. We can use the Melon Mambo. I, I meant to grab a purple, but I didn't grab it off of the counter behind me. So I got Melon Mambo and this one, you've got to really look closely to line it up. I think I'm off just a little bit, but it's still all inside the little line. So you can do that. You can just take the line all by itself and color inside it with your Copics. ink on my finger. <laughs> and one other thing you can do, I've got this piece of pattern paper from the Yours Truly Echo Park collection. It's part of the December kit from SP and Company. And then you can stamp just the, the line part and then cut it out and you have a pattern part. Um, whatever pattern paper you have. Okay. That shows you all the different hearts, different ways you can use the hearts. Get this out of the way. There's all the different cute little hearts. I'm going to show you the last two sentiments that come with this set. We've got friends forever. And I think, you know, Valentine's Day is about people in love and whatever, but it's also about your friends. I So I like to design stamps that you can use for more than just your significant other. So this one has friends forever. You can use Be Mine. You know, you can use Love Ya as a casual way to tell your girlfriends you love them because you know you always have those girlfriends that you know you love. It doesn't have to be romantic love. And then the last sentiment is one of my favorites. Let me see if I can find one of the pieces that goes with it. I don't see one. I don't know, I might not have cut it out. But it says... Oh no, I do. I think I do see it. I think this one fits. Yep. Okay. This one says smooch. I think that's really cute. It just says smooch. So this stamp set could be used for any kind of love cards or Valentine's cards. You can give them to your friends or your children. There you have. Let me zoom in on some of these patterned ones. Okay. So I've gone over the time. So what I'm going to do is in my next video, I'm going to show you a project using this stamp set. Thanks for watching. Bye.